Hey everybody, Arco here. Welcome to the first round of the Risk Roulette series, uh, hosted by Quarantine through Event Labs on the main server. This is a three-round tournament plus a finals, and everybody that plays the three rounds will accumulate points across the three rounds, and then depending on how many points you get, we'll all be thrown onto a giant wheel spin that will determine. <laughs> That will determine who goes to the finals. So the more points you accrue, the better the chances. But it is possible to still go to the finals through RNG, even if I get last in all three of these non-final games. Settings for round one, we have, looks like, Grip of the North, Fixed, World Dom, Alliances on, Stable Portals, Blizzard's on, No Fog. And our spawn is for either Finland or Sweden South, it looks like. But it's looking like it's going to take a bunch of turns. <clears throat> Not sure how we're going to divvy all of this up. But yeah, so players in the group. We got Chris and Chips, Grandmaster. Rambolo, Grandmaster, Salixis, Grandmaster, the official Tanner, Master basically Grandmaster, ourselves, and then the Apes Flying Poo, Master, technically Grandmaster as well. Uh, there's no portals to that top right bonus either. Yep, yeah, so one fortifies the two out. Didn't mean to slow roll purple, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. She wants to move the three in. That's fair. go and we'll give people time to move out hopefully apes doesn't do the six on two Take that bonus turn one, interestingly enough. Okay, Chris and Chips blocks that path. Give it a little thumbs down. <laughs>
Get a card there. Hopefully Chris moves up soon. Probably have to wait one more turn, sadly. Otherwise, I'd be a little bit too weak if I get a bad roll on the five. Definitely not looking ideal. go. Rambello already seems to know what's up. So I have a need to attack me, I mean, I'm hoping you just mean you have to hit my one. Yeah, that's fine. Not ideal, but fine, I guess. Tanner with the 10 set as well. 31. Holy shit. Kind of glad there's no portals in this bonus here.
We have a set on four. <laughs> Thank flipping goodness. I don't mean to hit green. I can't really hit green without going through purple. Ah. Okay. Uh, guess I'm hitting a little green. I mean, I have to hit a card, a somewhat expensive card anyways. I'll do that. I guess we'll follow up with this. Chris might hit my five down there, which is understandable if he does. Slams into Salixis. I think his two is guarded by all these threes and eights here, because I don't think these two connect. Alright, purple takes out a chunk as well. Doesn't connect. Yep, Tanner takes the bounty. Rest in peace to Chris and Chips.
got to wait for a set in order to do anything next. And that we do get the lucky 10 set on three. Are we jumping on this train now, too? I don't know. <laughs> Depends on what Tanner does, I guess. Ooh, lost six there. Sliders some in. Alright. Gonna have to go the long way. But I think it'll be fine. Good roll as well. And we'll head back to that original bonus. So that's fourth and one. That's some amount of stuff. Apes takes that bonus, doesn't break. Now I probably get teamed on here by purple and blue. Oh, I don't. Although Tanner may have enough to take me out completely. Okay, he doesn't. Wow, I survived this. Somehow, some way. Uh, plus six, plus six. Uh, where are these plus twos? I'll do that one. Make our troops active. We'll see what people want to do now, I guess. Nice, we have another 10 trade. That is helpful. I'm pleasantly surprised I didn't get teamed on by uh, purple and blue there. 
immediately after I took the bounty. And then a 55. Are on 15 territories still. So that aspect of it is pretty nice. Hmm. <laughs> Wait a second. I wonder if we'll be allowed to upgrade to the plus five here. This may be a bit dumb, but it will be funny if it works, so we will try it. Say that. That and that. All right. Yeah. Also, thumbs down to what? what was mentioned before, the thumbs up or thumbs down. I really wish there was a please repeat that option or something, because if you mentioned to attack a color, I kind of missed it from before. Honestly, Tanner can upgrade to a plus six as well.
Yeah, well played. Sand attack blue. Probably not going to have to be the one to start it, though. That's the problem. Because I'm still basically in... Uh... In a rebuild type mode. I can try and line up or open that those troops in case some stuff happens. Do have the six sets. See how much uh, purple hits here. Wow. He almost has enough to completely take him out here. Sure, that's a four.
And we'll see. Okay, we got a wild card. So my move on apes there equalized the game. I could have tried playing for second and three, but we'll see if... Oh, okay, apes is going for the bounty. Does get, does get it. I think with his dice, I think we're ahead here in the 1v1. So I'm glad I didn't go for second and three. Apes goes for second and one. Because, yeah, even after he trades, I'm still up 30 troops. He is up two cards. I guess he could get really insane dice on my 49 if he starts manualing me right away. But he does have to break all these bonuses. does win the two-on-one blitz. He will be able to break everything. Has to use the five. Gets okay dice. And now we're in the 1v1 endgame here. Oh, we do have a cannon set. I think that'll be safe to trade it in. It should be enough. Good dice there, and we'll end on our original territory. Alright, very successful game one in the Risk Roulette series. Alright, much better than that last uh, fixed world um, I played in the Capture of the Flag Open. Alright, so I think that's first and three, so however many points it is, or uh, spokes on the wheel... We improve our chances to getting the wheel spin to the finals. And so I'm assuming the second round will be sometime next week, depending on the scheduling. Uh, GG's once again to all of our opponents. Man, until next time, everybody, take care and cheers for stopping by.